Hey, what is up you guys? It's Dustin and I am back with another video and this is not a video that I'm very happy to be making right now because there is a lot of things going on with Adam McIntyre, Cody Rance, and Colleen Ballinger. Now you guys, I don't know if you're aware of what's going on. I don't know how you couldn't be if you are on Twitter or YouTube. This is popping up everywhere. Colleen Ballinger just got exposed in big time uh, by Cody Rance and Adam McIntyre and I have some information that I have to share because I feel like if I do not share this, this is going to go unchecked and I just cannot have that. Now, you guys know that I am working on a series currently and I have hinted on Twitter about how I'm going to be exposing a group chat, right? And that is the whole premise of what went on with Adam. But before I get into all of that, I want to just apologize. Literally for years, I've had issues with Adam because I thought that what he was saying about Colleen was a lie and now it's not, and I feel terrible, fucking terrible for that and what he went through. I sat here and watched this whole video. It was an hour and 45 minutes, and I was sat there the whole time like this, just with my mouth open. I could not wrap my head around what Colleen Ballinger did to this kid. This is disgusting, the sexual innuendos, the sexual jokes, asking what his favorite sexual position is, and then all these videos came out of Colleen just being a disgusting just downright nasty person, like with the things that she would say to people and just the manipulation alone, what she did to Adam is completely abhorrent. And I do not think that Colleen Ballinger should be able to have a platform to do this to people. We have seen group chats with other people like Gabby Hanna in the past, and that was a group chat in a different way. But the things that were being said in this chat specifically to Adam and her using him are just above and beyond anything that I've ever seen. The only other time I've seen manipulation this way was with James Charles, which ironically enough, I'm going to be talking about him at length in my series. But we need to talk about this, and I owe Adam, like, a sincere apology. So, Adam, I am incredibly sorry for ever doubting you. I felt so fucking awful and so mad at myself when I watched this video because there's no way I want to take away from his story and what he went through and this just fucked me up like mentally it really fucked me up so that is something that I need to apologize for Adam I am so very sorry but getting back to the topic of group chats I have been incredibly vocal on my platform about group chats and minors there is no reason that any adult, if you're 18 and over, you should not be in any kind of chat with a minor on a social media platform. You do not know these people. They do not know you. There is no place for you to be talking to a minor about anything. I don't care what it is if you want to talk about fucking Roblox, because if you're over 18 and you're into Roblox like that and you're talking to kids, that's weird to me, first and for fucking most. But the group chat that I'm going to be exposing, I believe, was the catalyst for all of this stuff with Adam, and I don't think that he had anything to do with it. So I had to come on here and I have to kind of like share what I know because like I said, in this series that I'm doing, I'm going to be exposing a group chat and I think that this is what triggered Cody because I, I have to talk about Cody first. I have to because th there's no way around this. The other day, I was hinting about what I was going to be talking about in my series. I ended up messaging Cody Rance because for some reason I think she replied to one of my tweets or something. And I think that she thought that this group chat that I was going to be exposing was about her. And it just simply was not. It does include one of the people that she was in a group chat with that was a minor. Ooh. But what's going into my series has nothing to do with Cody Rance. And I just want to address this like off the fucking rip really quickly. Cody Rance, I like I told her I was not going to include her in my series and I don't plan to, but I really honestly should. So that's why I'm going to talk about her here. And before I say anything I have to say, I do not want to hear any kind of mental gymnastics from anyone. I do not care how you try to rationalize what Cody has done and coming out and saying the things that she said in this video that she posted to YouTube saying, and I quote, like, fuck it, I'm just going to talk about what I want to talk about. And if you don't like that, it's your problem, not mine. So I'm going to post the video. And if there's a lot of backlash, great. I'll get more money. So whatever, I don't care. Go ahead and tweet my video in your little group chats and post it online and make all the hate comments you want. It will pay my bills. Let's go ahead and talk about my time in Colleen Ballinger's fandom and why I believe her fandom is the most toxic fandom online. And if there's a lot of backlash, great. I'll get more money. Cody, you were a part of that fandom. You contributed to this. You admitted this much in this video because you said that you wrote fan fictions 
about the people and the children that were in these chats. And now people are sainting Cody as if what Cody has done is admirable. It's not. She admitted to doing this same type of shit that Colleen Ballinger was doing. And I don't understand why people are giving Cody some kind of green light to get past this. This does not excuse anything that Cody's done. I should not have been in a group chat with you. There's no excuse for that. Should not have been in a group chat with my ex. Period, point blank, end of story. So Cody is calling out all these people for deleting things. Tell me why Cody has deleted a video. Tell me why Cody has deleted almost a thousand tweets. It's very, very hypocritical to me. But it's not only that, like the proof of this video being deleted kind of left a bad taste in my mouth and how Cody addressed it. So somebody tweeted out to Cody and said, I asked on your other posts as well, genuine question. When you were redecorating your room just weeks ago, you showed that you hung the autographs and memorabilia from Colleen and Corey. So what changed now if you've already known all of this? Why go after her now? And I saw this and I was like, that's really interesting. And that's when I checked Cody's social blade to see if this video was deleted. And it's deleted. But Cody quote tweeted this and said, because I don't look at the memorabilia and think bad things, I think of how I took my power back from somebody who hurt me and became stronger. I went on those trips because of my viewers watching my content. I look at that collage and think of you guys, not her. Well, if that's the case, why did you delete it? You need to stand firm in what you're saying. So do you stand by what you're saying here in this tweet and you aren't ashamed or are you trying to hide something? Because I feel inclined to think that you're hiding something because of the conversation that I had with you, Cody, just like three years ago. And you guys, I know this is going way back in the receipt archive. Um, and I didn't even notice this until I was mentioning the group chat on Twitter and I think Cody replied to me and it, it made me think that she was thinking that I was going to expose her in some kind of way or something. And I wasn't because she wasn't on my radar, but Cody was friends with this kid, Will, back in the day. You guys may remember him as, oh my God, expose you. He was 15 years old and he was in a whole bunch of group chats with all of these people, Cody included. And there's going to be a lot of me talking about that in my series. So I believe maybe that this is what triggered Cody into posting these videos and saying all this stuff about Colleen. Now, I don't wanna take away from what Colleen does or what she did. Colleen is gross and disgusting and I feel like she should be publicly shamed and she should have to address it and she should be held accountable 100%. But for Cody to act as if she has some kind of like moral high ground on this, she absolutely does not and I'm gonna show you why. So not only has Cody been so vocal about all of this, she participated in these group chats and made fan fictions about people, Cody went on to tweet out and say, I'm sorry to all the Miranda Sings fans who have tour tickets with all this going on. I didn't know this would go viral. And if there's a lot of backlash, great, I'll get more money. If you need anyone to vent to, you need to really start using because, because calls that, that you sound like rich Lux. All this stuff is overwhelming. Please DM me. It's a safe space and I'm here for you. Nobody needs to be DMing you, Cody. We've already established that all these people that are in Miranda Singh's fandom are children and teenagers. You've already been guilty. Yourself admitted that you were in these group chats and you were doing all this shit with these fan fictions and writing horrible things about the people and the children that were in these chats. You were literally doing that. So I don't think it's appropriate for you to get on Twitter and tell these people to DM you. So now I have to back up a little bit. So this is part of my series because you know that 2020 is like a big deal in my series. If you don't, it is. There is a lot of like contriving, a lot of like just messy shit that people were doing, pulling strings behind the scenes and I'm gonna expose that. But when I really knew something was going on is when I saw this kid, Will, tweeting back to all these people that were in a group chat together, right? So on May 30th, 2020 at 2.39 a.m., I tweeted out and said, I'm sorry, but if you're pushing 30, you shouldn't be friends with young teenagers. What could you possibly have in common with someone half your age to discuss so much with? At the time, I don't remember the context of what this was about, except for the fact that I knew that all this stuff with this, oh my God, expose you, Will Kid was going on, right? And I didn't tag anybody in this tweet. I didn't mention anyone. I didn't say, hey, it's you, or hey, it's you. I didn't say none of that. This was just a blanket statement that I was aware that something was going on. So please tell me why on May 30th, 2020, Cody Rance gets in my inbox. I wasn't messaging Cody at this point and says, Dustin, the only things Will and I really talk about is Minecraft cause, and she fucking annoys the shit out of me with this, is on my server. Sometimes we discuss drama. It's all very innocent. He plays on my server with my friends. This is yet again another time that Cody is admitting to this shit. 
Cody is admitting to hanging out with a minor online and playing video games and writing fan fictions, and I'm not okay with that. But it gets even deeper than that, you guys, because in piecing all this stuff together, because I have a very detailed timeline of exactly what went on in 2020 and who was doing what in that time period, I have literally 500 pages 500 fucking pages of receipts from that time period. So going back to Colleen and Adam and all this shit, and this is where, this is why I'm really fucking making this video because this right here on top of everything else that I've already said, just blew my fucking mind when I sat down and compared the times and the dates. Like, this is not okay. This is not okay. So for Cody to be like spearheading this takedown of Colleen Ballinger, who has also done terrible things, equal to what Cody has done, mind you, equal. Because I look at it this way. Like if two people murdered people, it doesn't matter who did what. You're both getting fucking charged. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna let y'all in on something really quickly. And she said this is off the record, but you know what? If you can share DMs, if you can do all this different shit to Colleen and you participated in the same shit she did, you should face the same repercussions. So on May 12, 2020, Colleen Ballinger posted addressing everything. And it was the video where she addressed Adam and pretty much made him look like a piece of shit and deflected everything that she did or downplayed what she did to this kid. And in hindsight, it fucking enrages me. So Colleen posted this on May 12th, 2020, right? So tell me why when I messaged with Cody the other day, I scrolled up to, to just see what the context of our conversation prior to me engaging with her in 2023 was. Tell me why the first thing I fucking see on my screen is a message from Cody on May 11th, 2020 that says this is off the record but Colleen apologized to me privately and is going to make a public apology just FYI this was the day before Colleen posted her video so why why now Cody are you coming out and acting as if you have some kind of bone to pick with fucking Colleen Ballinger but the bigger question to me is how the fuck you could hold on to something so long like this that could have exonerated Adam and fucking incriminated Colleen. And the reason in my mind is you're just as guilty as she is. Adam has literally been dragged through the fucking mud because of this. And I participated in some of that because I didn't believe what he was saying because of fucking Colleen. And your story could have literally fucking changed everything. And you waited till 2023 to come out with it. You fucking messaged me on the 11th before Colleen ever posted her video. Cody, you are the problem here. You are just as equally guilty as Colleen Ballinger. And I don't care what you say about it. And you want to know the gag of it all? The gag of the fucking century? The gag of it all, girl. I saw in my receipts on May 8th of 2020, because at this point, this is when Colleen was getting really dragged and she wasn't like talking about any of this stuff and people were demanding that she addressed it. And then that video came out on the 12th. But on the 8th, James Charles defended her, and how fucking rich is that? A uh, actual fucking predator. Colleen tweeted out on May 8, 2020. Oh my God, I just thought about how when the quarantine is over, I'll eventually start doing live shows again. Then I start thinking about how I'll get to do meet and greets and legit started crying. I miss you guys so much. So someone replied to her and said, you can't ignore the situation forever. If you don't address it, it will get worse. And then James Charles decided that he had any kind of fucking moral ground, any kind of say in the situation after everything that has came out about him after the fact to butt the fuck in and say, it's literally all lies. The boy begged Colleen for the pennies for years. He ran her Twitter for one day and she ghosted him either. In fact, he tried to bring Flynn into the argument. Sure, his story doesn't look the best, but he's looking for attention since Colleen won't give it to him anymore and y'all are feeding it instead. Even if she did address it, people would say she's attacking a minor, like the minors that you slide in their DMs. I really don't know how you feel comfortable in even talking about this, James. You have no platform to be talking about fucking minors and then being in group chats and shit with kids. Let her take care of her family and son during this pandemic and worry about something else, please. I'm tired of seeing my friend dragged over lies. Well, James Charles, it's 2023. I want to know what you think about this now. Since you had so much to say in defense of Colleen, why the fuck aren't you speaking up now? This situation is so fucking sick, so gross, and so deplorable, and I hate that I ever contributed to the conversation about Adam not going through this. Because right now in this fucking moment in 2023, it is crystal fucking clear that Colleen Ballinger is a fucking menace. And I really truly think that if she doesn't address this, this could end her career. This is career ending type of shit. So to wrap this all up and put a little cute bow on it for all of you guys, in my series, I'm going to be talking about a group chat that this kid Will was in. 
the Oh My God Expose You account that used to follow T Spill, the Stan account, if you will. And a lot of people being vocal now about these group chats, I hope that they have that same energy when I go to expose all of these people that are being so vocal now because it's not just Cody. So with all of that said, I don't care how anyone feels about this. The optics of this are terrible. The fact that Cody knew that that apology was coming and then it was posted a day later and now she is spearheading this whole thing against Colleen Ballinger and trying to buddy up with Adam McIntyre when he was the one that actually went through the trauma. It really just pisses me off. But you guys, please leave me your thoughts and opinions down below. Please try to keep it cute. I am not trying to be mean to Cody, but I feel like there, there has to be some amount of accountability here. There is no way that you can actively participate in the same shit and then call the people out that are doing that and then ask people minors of this fandom to come into your fucking inbox. I'm not down with that and you should not be either, Cody. You should fucking be ashamed. But you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Please do not send hate to people because this is already a nasty, horrible, messy situation. I just had to come on here and share what I know because I'm not gonna sit on top of shit that I know that could change things for the better because this, this right here, it feels contrived. It feels completely put together. And I feel like Cody had a really guilty conscience when Cody found out that I was tweeting about this like whole group that I'm going to be exposing. And I felt like Cody wanted to get ahead of this because that's what Cody thought it was. But you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.